Hey guys, it's Erica and welcome, welcome back to today's video. Molly is over here with me as well and I'm going to be filming my makeup collection as you know by the title. Coffee. Molly has her cup if you're just wondering. So I wanted to do my makeup collection at the beginning of the year. That way by the end of the year we can see how much my makeup collection has changed. And I'm not going to be showing myself in this video because honestly I'm in sweatpants, no makeup on or anything. So I just wanted to show this to get an idea of how I'm starting out with my makeup this year. I have added a couple things um, since the beginning of this year, but for the most part this is where I'm starting out. Dog, put it back. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so the first thing I have is this little uh, lipstick organizer. I actually got this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Let me see if it has a price. It was $10 at TJ Maxx. So pretty inexpensive and I just sit it here with all of my favorite lipsticks. Um, so I have these uh, Maybelline Super Stay Matte Inks. I have a Too Faced Melted. These are really, really good, but I only have one. And then these Models Own Liquid Lipsticks, these are really good as well. NYX ColourPop, I have some Too Faced uh, Melted yeah. Lipsticks. But yeah, so those are my favorite ones that I like to use on a regular basis, so I just put them out here. And I like that it has a mirrored effect, also excuse any dust that you see. Um, I try to clean up a little bit. But uh, yeah, so I really like this. I want to get another one because I do have other uh, makeup that I like. So. Or other lipsticks that I like on a regular basis. Hold on, Molly. And then I have this little acrylic organizer. And this just has my cotton rounds for when I wipe off my makeup. No, 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 Molly. So I, these are, this is just where I put this um, organizer. So I can access them easily. I got this at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. This little milk jar. Uh, I got this at the dollar store and I usually have flowers in there. I actually just took them out because they were Christmas flowers. I'm going to put spring flowers in here. And then these are little Q-tips and I get those at the dollar store as well. This organizer is from TJ Maxx or Marshalls for like $4. This is like $4 so not that inexpensive or not that, not that expensive. So that's what I just keep on this little um, end part of my makeup collection of my desk. So pretty simple and uh, organized and then right below it there is a little section down here and this is where I keep my eyelashes right here in this little bin that I got at TJ Maxx or Marshalls Marshalls for three dollars so I just keep them in this little bin here and it just has all of my eyelashes in there that I like to use and my favorite eyelashes are let me see here they are these vint the Vintage Company uh, Connie lashes, and these are my absolute favorite. It's go it's Connie for a soft and natural look. My absolute favorite ones. These are only four dollars at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I also keep my favorite eyelash glue in here, which is the Kiss eyelash glue, and and yeah, so that's where I keep all of my eyelashes, which is awesome keeps them very contained so then let's move on over here to the other part of my collection all right so the next part of my collection is right here and this is some of my favorite eyeshadows that i like to use on a daily basis that i like to use on a regular basis so i have the carly bible uh palette by bh cosmetics this is a little um what do you call it? Z palette that I got from Amazon, which I can link down below in the description. Uh, Emily here, Mrs. Gregory on YouTube, she actually recommended this to me, and it's not, it's like glitter, but it's like faux glitter, I guess you could say. And this just has a Makeup Geek blush, Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Wait a minute, what are these? Well, these are Anastasia shadows that I found at TJ Maxx. And then these are all of my ColourPop single shadows. So I just keep that up here. I have a Too Faced uh, Peanut Butter and Honey Palette, the Meat Mat Ma Meat Matchmaker. I actually have a video on this. I will link down below. I have a Smashbox. This is my Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. I'm upset that they're getting rid of this and discontinuing it because I really do like it. And then in the front here, I have my Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Also have a video on this linked down below. And then I have the newest one, Too Faced White Peach, also will be linked down below. Looks like this. 
and I just keep them up here since they're new and I think that they're cute so I just you know want to display them here I have a wet and wild kabuki brush which I like excuse Molly messing in my lipsticks over there this little dish I got from Walmart for like a dollar and it just has all of my earrings in there just so it's easy access or some bobby pins too and then right here I know it's kind of gross and weird but like I keep my eyelashes here my false eyelashes just so I know which ones I'm using at that moment because I don't like to have too many pairs open so that's those this little thing I got at Target on clearance because something was broken I think but this has pens pencils highlighters this has my micellar water oh you can't even see it hold on all right so this has my micellar cleansing water some uh, face wipes then my headbands for when I need to do my makeup I have a receipt in here in case I need to return something I have nail clippers in here I have some eyelash serum in here that I like to use little uh, eye razors and then little like face cream it's basically what I have in there and then under here I just have like scissors deodorant a speaker um, a gift card, another receipt, puzzle pieces, random stuff in there. And then I have Molly's glasses. So that's all I have in this drawer right here. And then moving along over, I have my mirror, which this is, oops, something's fallen back there. This mirror I got from TJ Maxx, right? Home Goods. I got it from Home Goods. It's an Impressions Vanity mirror and it's like a legit mirror like I looked it up and everything and this uh, cost me $17 at home goods and this is like a $400 thing of mirror I think but I love it you turn it on and you push a little button and it lights up and then you turn it off oh, turn it off and then you push the button it also not only sits this way but then you can also turn it this way as well and I just really like this mirror it's not as bright as I wish it was, but it still works really good. And behind there, I just have some vitamins. I have energy, I have the women's multivitamins, and then I have my hair, skin, and nails by Nature's Bounty. And I just sit those back there out of the way behind the mirror so that way sticky hands can't touch, as you can see her hand right there. So let's move over to this container right here. All right, so what I have over here is this um, two set of acrylic drawers. This actually, so this one came with the bottom set here and it was like $17, I think. And then this one was like 10 at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So wherever you can find those, however they're sorted together, I guess, um, not really sure. So this top one, I just keep some of my regular lipsticks up here that I like. So here's Bite Beauty, Kat Von D, Too Faced, Too Faced, and a lot of these Too Faced ones here, I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. These new Lipland ones, they just look so fancy, but they're only like $8. Like, that's crazy. This is a Buxom liquid lipstick. I have my favorite mascaras, eyeliners. This is a coconut water face mist. And this is a firm serum. Um, I use these two at night almost every single day. And then this actually came with the Impressions Vanity Mirror. And you just, it's like suction cup, so you just stick it to here and it's like a 10 zoom, but it doesn't always stick. So, so that's what I have on top of this thing here. This is also like a sample of Bioderma. I haven't tried it yet, but I just kept it there since it came in like my Ipsy or Birch box or something. In the first drawer here, I just have a whole bunch of lipsticks. So as you heard, Molly plays in my lipstick drawer over here in my um, actual like makeup storage. So anytime I want like a lipstick to stay decently nice, I have to put it in here or over in my... No idea where that stopped recording, but I got um, Anastasia. This is from TJ Maxx Marshalls, and I think it's such a great find. So yeah, I just have multiple liquid lipsticks and lipsticks in there. Here I have some of my not-so-worn lipsticks. I have ColourPop, I have some Rimmel, these kind of smell funny, so I don't use them a whole lot. I have my Lip Balm, Too Faced Lip Insurance, I have the Cookie Cosmetics, NYX, what is this, Rimmel, Revlon, sorry. And then these are all of my Kat Von D liquid lipsticks that I got at TJ Maxx, no, I got them at Marshalls. 
and I use I keep them here because they're not everyday colors that I would wear. In here, I have some of my regular lipsticks. I have the Katie Cat Matte, which I don't wear very often. I have some. I have a buxom one. Here it is. This is the buxom one. So it's just like a peachy color, but like the lid, just like it's cool. Got that at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. You'll hear me say that a lot, only because that's where I shop for most of my stuff. That's like higher end. But then I have Milani and L'Oreal Revlon in there. Down in this one, I have brow products. So I have the Essence brow product. I have the, what is that? What's that brand? Benefit. I have Benefit brow stuff um, and pomade. I have this clear brow gel. I have two Anastasia brow gels, so nice. In this one over here, I have eyeshadow bases, so I have Smashbox sample, Models Own, which is really good. This Kat Von D one, which kind of sucks. These two Maybellines, and then I have my eyelash glue in there. And then down here, I have more of my uncommonly worn liquid lipsticks. So I have some of the Wet n Wild liquid cat suit colors and stuff that I don't usually wear. I got this one in Ipsy or Birchbox. It's like this red. It's not bad, but I don't usually wear those. Let me see here. I gotta finagle this so it closes. I have NYX. I have ColourPop. I have Cookie. I have Cookie back here as well. And there's another brand that's that came in like a Birchbox or something too. Or Ipsy. But yeah, that's what I have in that drawer. And then the last drawer here, I have Milani, which I like never use. They're just really pretty colors. I just got this uh, Bite Beauty lip pencil at TJ Maxx. Really love it. Need to go check out more colors because it's amazing for like $7 instead of $18. I have two of these Bite Beauties, Bite Beauty pencils here, Bite Beauty liquid lipstick. These are Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks Elf Beck. This Elf pencil, oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Look at that. That is so beautiful. This is in the color T Rose, I think. Yep, that one's beautiful. So that's everything that are that's in those drawers. Like I said, I try and keep mostly lip products only because, because uh, I don't want Molly touching them. So I have to be careful where I put things like that. And then moving over, right here I have my brushes. You can't see all of them at the moment. But I have a third one down here with like my smaller brushes. I got this at the dollar store. And it works really well. I have this one that has like my eyeshadow brushes. Everything needs to be cleaned, by the way, so don't judge. And then this one has my bigger face brushes that I use every day in here. And then back here, as you can see, I have some old photos uh, that I bought at an antique store, vintage store. So, you know, older pictures and things like that, which I really enjoy that type of stuff. If you guys want to see videos about anything like that or talking about anything like that, let me know in the comments. Then moving over here, moving over here, as you can see at the top here, this is an old camera. It does still work. I just have no film for it, but I bought that at a thrift store. Well, it was actually the same antique store. I got those pictures, but I really, really love that as decor. I have a candle here, my favorite, favorite all-time candle from Bath & Body Works, Autumn. It smells delicious, I love it. The plate that it's sitting on, I got at Target like three years ago for a dollar, I think. Really pretty, didn't know what to do with it, so I sat underneath the candle. Those flowers, um, I just I just love sitting flowers around my room, as you can see the ones over there as well. This lotion I got at Marshall. <laughs> yeah, you wanna open them? Yeah. Uh, this lotion here I got at Marshalls, I think, and it's just supposed to really, really hydrate my skin since my skin is super dry. And then moving on over here really quick, these are all of my perfumes, and I only have three, and then a backup of one. This is Molly's Piggy Bank. I have a lotion underneath there, all the way underneath those flowers, and it's like a goat milk lotion, I think. Love it. Love the smell. It reminds me of the beach. Beautiful. Molly's picture, my bracelets and rings and stuff. And that would be my piggy bank over there. Sorry about the lighting. So now moving on into my actual collection here. So this uh, drawer set right here is from 
Hobby Lobby and this was like, I don't know, $150 I think. I got it super discounted. It was like a 200 something dollar uh, organizer, dresser, drawers, whatever. So I love it. It's black. It looks just like the Ikea drawers. If I can find another one of these, I'd probably purchase it because I'm like, in my mind, I'm running out of room in here, but you might not think so. So in the first drawer, I kind of organized it like how I put my makeup on. So this is all face products. I have my foundation in here, and I like to keep it. I like to keep myself organized. So foundations. I this is my favorite, the Lumi L'Oreal Cushion Foundation, and I use this Maybelline one almost every day. This healthy elixir, it's good, but it oxidizes so badly on my skin. And then I just have some other ones down there. So I have those foundations. And then I have concealers over here. So I have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. I have uh, Urban Decay, Wet n Wild, NYX, ColourPop. There's a really good, I was recommended this by somebody on Facebook. And in the back here, I just have primers. I really enjoy the Urban Decay, whoa, Optical Illusion Primer, the Baby Skin Professional Pore Eraser, and this Maybelline Master Prime. I really want to get the full size of the Primed and Peachy because I heard it's really good for dry skin. Over in this corner that you can't see, hold on, over in this corner here I just have my beauty sponges. They're very dirty right now so excuse that. I just keep those there. And then over here, I have my old phone that's broken. I have some CC cream to try out. This is where I keep my camera cards and extra brush, some creams back there. You know, the huge. Down in this drawer, I have my face powders and stuff. So here I keep my, like, I don't know, pressed face powders, is that what they're called? So Rimmel's my go-to. I have the balm, I have the Rimmel. Uh, Insta Fix and Matte, and then this one I have from Bare Minerals. Honestly, I don't think this one is that great, to be honest. I think it kind of sucks for what it is, but you know, whatever. I just got this one, which is the Rimmel Loose Face Powder to try. This air spun I use almost every day. Then I have my setting sprays, which is Too Faced Hangover Urban Decay All Nighter. This one smells so delicious, but it's a, a set or a prep and prime spray, I believe. It smells delicious. These are all of my not so used face brushes. I use this one with the powder to just set my whole face most times, but yeah, so that's what I have there. The next drawer is my eye drawer, and and for this drawer, I don't really go in here that often because I don't usually use these loose powders or cream shadows. So these cream shadows, this is one of my favorites from L'Oreal. This is in a bronze taupe. And then I have some Revlon in here, some CoverGirl. Sorry, these are Maybelline. My bad. I have some NYX. Like, look at that one. That's beautiful. Have NYX and then loose powders. No, you don't need it. I have this Wet n Wild loose pigments and a Naked Cosmetics of Kim and Ipsy, I think. And then this NYX glitter because I've wanted glitter for a while. I just have some cool ones. I have some ColourPop single eyeshadows. An accent though. So I have some mascaras over here that I don't use often. Liquid eyeliners that I don't use. Some Stila gel liners. Two face liners, an eyebrow thing. Meh. It's a mess, yeah. And then in the next drawer here is blush. I love blush. Let me fix the camera angle. So I just love blush. And this is my blush drawer. It's amazing. So I have this. Anastasia blush kit. I wanted the darker one too, but I watched a review and they said not to so I only got this one But it's just gorgeous and then like this small one From my ipsy if I don't use it I'll give it to somebody else and then my blushes here from Milani soap and glory Kat Von D This one I butter London I found at Marshall's I have Buxom I found at Marshall's and TJ Maxx 
and I use these like all the time. I really do like them a lot. I have CoverGirl, I have Wet n Wild, I have the old Too Faced. I oh my gosh, this is one of my all-time favorites. De Benefit Dallas blush. I love it. I absolutely love it. I have my Too Faced Sweethearts. Oh, love it too. I have all my balms. Tarte. I love Tarte as well. NARS I have in here. And then I have like trios from Rimmel, Smashbox. This I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh, and then I have my Benefit Majorette, which kind of got me started into makeup. And this just, I don't even take the packet, like the clear thing off to use it. Like I don't ever use this. I've swatched it like once or twice and that's like it. But it's just so beautiful. How can you use it? Right? So I just push that back in there. The next drawer. Now this is the only thing that doesn't go in order. I put my blush book on my bronzers. Don't ask me why because I don't know. But I did. So bronzers. I do have one liquid bronzer and this is by Stila. The Aqua Glow. I got it at TJ Maxx I think. Just to try it out. It was like five five dollars I think so I got it to try out oops hey I guess you just pop it off yeah don't twist this so you just pop it off thought I tried that my Marc Jacobs which also started my makeup craze and this is a huge bronzer and powder love it I have the what I have my Too Faced Sweethearts blush, Soulmates blush, and bronzer, but it's more bronzer than blush, so I put that in there. I have my Kat Von D bronzer, bronzer highlight brush that I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls with the little case. This is one of the best finds that I have from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, one of the best, okay? so. This is the La Laguna Bronzer, I think. What do they call this? This is the Laguna Tier Bronzer, okay? So this is what it looks like. It comes with the a, a mini brush and the huge bronzer and then a huge mirror. And it comes in this cool little case. This retails for $60, I think I came up with. $60, okay? So that's crazy. I paid like 20 I think, 15 or 20 amazing steel. I also have my shade and light palette in here that I got at TJ Maxx and Marshalls for half price. So I'd like to use those. Anastasia got on sale at Ulta I think. I have a Stila cream contour because I don't have any. I thought this would be good to add. Try it out. I have another Stila bronzer. This is huge. NARS. This is blush and bronzer. I don't know what's supposed to be the blush because they both look like bronzer to me, but whatever. Rimmel, CoverGirl. I have a mini Too Faced Chocolate Soul Light because I want to get a bigger one because it's amazing. My Bahama Mama bronzer, amazing bronzer. Butter, bronzer, staple. And then my Too Faced bronzer. This one's more like a bronze highlight. I'm getting food passed through. But yes, yeah, so... That's my bronzer drawer. <clears throat> oh, you want to open. And then my next drawer is highlight. And this is probably my all-time favorite drawer. And it's because I love my glow. So over here, I have this little container that I have from like the dollar store, I think. This has all of my liquid highlights in it. So I have the ColourPop highlight from their Gemstones collection. This is an amazing highlight. I also have the Born to Glow, not a fan of that too much. This one, the Glow Milk, this one's really good. I have two of these Milk Makeup Holographic ones. Over here I have my powder highlighters, this Luminizer, oh my gosh, I need the full size of this. Got this in Ipsy and I am in love. ColourPop highlighters, they're okay, I think maybe I need to try like a different one, I don't know. But they're okay. I have this loose one from ColourPop. Still haven't tried it, but I'm excited. This one I just bought. It is amazing. Amazing. Too Faced. Not, not that good. That one's not good. No, no, no. 
And then I have my Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette. The highlight in this is so good that I have to put it with the highlight palette. So I just put it in there. Here I have my Becca uh, highlighters, and this is the ones that are like limited edition. These are those limited edition Becca highlighters, the light chasers, I think. So I have the one that's in opal and champagne. Molly's in all of my stuff. Then I have the regular champagne pop by Becca. Love it. The fairy highlight, I did a review yeah. on that. Wet n Wild Models Own. And then Urban Decay Mini Size. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then back here I have my huge uh, Wet n Wild Illuminating Face uh, something. I have my yeah. Urban Decay Illuminating <laughs> Body stuff. Uh, you know what I mean? Like this. Yeah. And then I have the Bella Pierre. This one's really good if you're starting out with makeup. The highlights in here are like amazing. Like look mm -hmm. at that. And then you swatch it. It's like really good and cheap. It's like four bucks. Yeah. And then these over here are the more high-end palettes I have. I have the Urban Decay Afterglow when it was on sale. I think they're still on sale to be honest. So I have that one, really like that. And then I have my two Anastasia palettes. And this one I bought on like Black Friday or something when they were having like their clearance or like their big sales. So this is the Moon Child. And then everyone was talking about these Anastasia glow kits at Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So guess what? I went, I filmed the video. The video should be up before this. So I, I will link it down below. But here it is, the Aura. Aurora palette. I always pronounce that wrong. And it looks like this, just beautiful. I love it. I used it on my face. It's just gorgeous. And this is $25, and I think in the store it's like 40 something. So that's the highlight drawer. Now be prepared for this one. This is Molly's drawer. This has lipsticks like Butter London. It has the two. This one don't even have a lid because you don't put the lids back on. This one is CoverGirl. I have some ColourPop lippy sticks, Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild, she has her clay eyeshadow, uh, close that, thank you, I have some lip balm, this is just a, we don't even need to look at this, because it's just too much. Molly. No. Nope. There is nothing, watch out Molly, there is nothing in this drawer here, because I don't have anything for that drawer. Watch out, please. We're going to go down here. And then we have this drawer. Please watch out. No, not yeah. yours. Yeah. So then we have this drawer here, which is the second to last drawer. And this has all of my eyeshadow palettes. Watch out, Molly. <coughs> and I put all of the extra palettes that don't fit up there in this drawer. And they're very well organized. So I have my Too Faced chocolate pa chocolate chip palette. I have a ColourPop one. I have four Kat Von D palettes that look uh, like this. And then I have some Tarte, Too Faced, some ColourPop. Actually, I have a lot of ColourPop. I have my Sweet Peach palette that Becca got me. If you don't know who she is, she's my best friend. I have another Too Faced. I got it like Marshalls or something. A cargo palette, which kind of sucks. I have the Reveal 2 and Reveal 3 Coastal Scents palettes. Those are really good palettes to have, and they're cheap. Back here, I have some of my newer palettes. This is the Total Temptations palette from Maybelline. This is actually a pretty decent palette from the drugstore. Urban Decay Lime from The Balm, and this one is from Makeup Revolution. I have a video review or er, uh, demoing this and reviewing it along with the Subculture palette. I kind of want to get the third palette, which is the Prism palette, to go with these two, but I'm not sure. This one is the Urban Decay Electric palette, and then this one is one of my favorite palettes. This is the Violet Voss hashtag palette. I'll link the video on the screen down below. This one palette is just so gorgeous. Like, oh my gosh. It's just, I love it. It's just so pretty. I don't use it very often because I wear my makeup mostly to work and I don't want to scare anybody, <laughs> you know, with like bright colors because nobody at work wears makeup like that. But yeah, so that's that drawer. And then this last drawer is all hair products. It's a hot mess in here because Molly also gets in here as well. 
But some of my favorite products are the coconut oil 10 in 1 spray from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, $6. This for the summer, which is texturizing beach wave sea salt mist. Love it. $6 from Marshalls. Let's see, I have a backup in here that 10. It's a 10 spray. My straightener, my curling iron. Just these clips are amazing. I don't remember where I got them from, but I really like those. So yeah, that's everything with my makeup collection, and you are getting a nice view of Molly covering herself up with my jacket that's on my desk. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. If you have any suggestions on beauty products or anything for storage, because I'm always looking and my collection is always growing, then let me know down in the comments. I will be doing a declutter since I just showed you the collection because I think there are some products that I can get rid of that I don't use but that will be coming and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a big thumbs up hit that red subscribe button on your screen hit that little bell to get notified of new videos coming of Molly she has lipstick all over her face right now but I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video bye, bye.